tomorrow. Yeah, unfortunately, we could see some of that nasty weather that we had last week and the yeah. week before that. Here's meteorologist Allison Rogers. We're just in that pattern here of springtime. Yep, exactly. It's springtime. We're going to see big changes by the weekend, too, with our temperatures. But this weekend, temperatures are going to feel a little bit more like spring, less like summer. And as we go from that transition to the summer warmth to slightly cooler weather, you get some of the rocky weather in between, and that's what we'll see here late tonight, early tomorrow morning, and potentially even tomorrow afternoon. Right now around town, things are fairly quiet, but we do have a few light showers that are making their way through Claremont County, areas of northern Kentucky as well, into southern Campbell County and parts of Pendleton County, seeing some of that rain off to the west. That's still where the majority of the action is. So this is all part of the system that's going to bring us rainfall, not just after midnight tonight or tomorrow morning, but then tomorrow afternoon too there's that potential for some more thunderstorms to roll through. Still some question marks with that thunderstorm potential for tomorrow. The best potential for strong storms is going to be to our north, but there's still a couple of communities that could wind up seeing some thunderstorms potentially getting in to that stronger category here tomorrow afternoon. That's generally going to be for areas closer to I-70. You can see that yellow there, so level two out of five, but even still throughout the rest of greater Cincinnati, thunderstorm still certainly is a possibility. So tomorrow's going to be a weather impact day. We'll have that rainfall around early in the morning. That's going to be around for your commute. So if you are somebody who has to leave the house before 7 a.m. and you're not a fan of driving in the rain, buckle up because it's going to be around. Now, after eight, We'll see a little bit of a break, but those winds start to kick up. We'll see some winds gusting close to 20 to 30 miles per hour throughout most of tomorrow, actually, independent of any thunderstorms. Then if we were to see some stronger storms, that severe weather window is going to be from 3 o'clock to about 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. Now, with that, again, there are still some question marks to whether or not we wind up seeing some of those storms maturing tomorrow afternoon. So let's go over that. Rest of tonight, we will see a spotty shower here for the next little while, but rain becomes more widespread starting around 3 a.m. This could bring in some thunder and lightning too. So if you're a light sleeper, this is something that certainly could wake you up in the morning. I actually think the rain is going to be most widespread in the morning tomorrow. And again, it could be heavy at times. We'll pick up about a half inch to a full inch of rainfall with all of tomorrow's rainfall chances. That midday break starts to roll through. Then as we get into the afternoon, here's right now how Futurecast is handling those thunderstorms. That's it just right up there a little bit closer to Dayton. So again, areas along I-70 have the best potential for thunderstorms, but if we wind up seeing any storms developing a little bit farther south, I do want you to be aware that some of those storms could be strong with the main impacts being some damaging wind and hail. Low end threats would be that tornado threat, but that's looking to be a really low end threat. Again, the main concern with those storms tomorrow are gonna be the potential for some wind and some hail if they are able to really mature. By 8 o'clock tomorrow night, we start to see things quieting down for us. And then Thursday looks okay during the day, but then Thursday night, we'll see a little bit more rain and thunder moving through. Another about half inch to an inch of rainfall with that wrapping up early Friday. And then here's the cool down that we'll see by the weekend. That change, 63 for a high temperature on Saturday, 55 for a high on Sunday. When you think about the fact that we've been in the 80s for the last three days, 55, that sounds cold, but we are at least dry guys. All right, Allison, appreciate that. Some big off-season